okay guys uh, now we are going to look at another interesting plot it is called the double reciprocal plot or line weaver bark plot now uh, what this does a double reciprocal plot is going to provide us uh, it's a simple understanding about uh, two different features one is the vmax which is a maximum velocity for an enzymatic reaction another one is the km value so we, we, if we know the initial uh, substrate concentration and the in initial velocity which is v0 uh, uh, then you can easily can get the value of km and vmax by using this line weaver bug plot so that's why uh, we start to scientists start to think about the line weaver plot and they start to do uh, start to uh, use this now the reciprocal of the michaels menten equation yields this so as we know uh, normally what happens uh, uh, said by the michaels menten equation is that v0 equals to vmax into s divided by km plus s now if we just if we make this uh, uh, make a reciprocal for that equation we can get 1 over v0 equals to km by vmax into s plus 1 by vmax Okay, and uh, if, if if we use this equation is in a linear form, then it is in linear in one by v zero, which will be uh, in in this y intercept and one uh, which will be the y axis and uh, one by s, which will be the, in the x axis. Uh, we can yield a straight line by putting only the values. So there will be no log uh, of this. So we, we do not have to go through the log, uh, make the logarithm uh, of, of the data we obtain. So we can just plot this, uh, just plot uh, plot the data, random data, uh, normal data which wh what we can get after the enzymatic reaction setup. And we use this reciprocal plot and plot this data in, in, in the graph. And by looking at it, we can easily measure th measure the km and vmax for a reaction how in this case two intercept can be obtained one is uh, the y intercept as you can see here which is uh, called the 1 by vmax so this intercept is 1 by vmax and as we stretch this line and it will until it will reach uh, the and, and make another intercept in the y axis and this intercept the x uh, sorry x x axis and this x intercept will be minus 1 by km because as we can see it is in in this hemisphere so it is minus 1 by km in this way the values of the v0 as a function of s can be plotted and reveal the kmax uh, k sorry reveal the km and the vmax <laughs> that's a dumb thing the km so it reveals the km as well as the km uh, vmax okay uh, of the reaction so suppose here we have uh, uh, in this case something uh, some important things to notice that uh, when the values of s as we can see evenly spaced from 0 0.5 uh, km uh, to to 5 km as these are there is much crowding of the point uh, at large in the double reciprocal plot uh, okay uh, at large subset concentration at the double reciprocal plot so here we can have when the co subset concentration as you can see is larger uh, then we are having these values really crowding at a particular particular place in this double reciprocal plot another important thing about that when we make the error bars then some suppose uh, there will be experimental errors there are experimental errors actually if we think about these experimental errors that is conducted plus minus 0 0.05 of this any data we are putting in the vmax are added to the data points and notice that the smaller errors at the low concentration the small even the small errors at the low concentration okay which is here is here smaller so smaller errors at the low concentration can cause the large errors of 1 by s and cause large effects on the plot because this is not uh, based on the subset concentration this is the reciprocal of the subset concentration that means 1 by s so if we increase the subset concentration we are having uh, the lower amount if we uh, decrease the subset concentration lowering the subset concentration so here we are having in this this places so small variation at this region we are having a fraction of uh, a huge fraction of changes as we can see here so it's a magnified this change will be magnified till till this places okay and not only that but also came mo uh, is slightly modified but the vmax is modifying uh, vmax have have the maximal effect so if we change uh, any data if, if we if, if the error is present in that in our data that will going to affect that is going to affect uh, the vmax much more than the came so that can be easily obtained by this graph. So this kind of information can we can find using this line over bug plot. That's why it's really, really important for the mathematical purposes, for the study purposes, uh, to measure the KM and the Vmax. As we know, uh, without measuring this KM and Vmax, we, know we cannot measure the catalytic efficiency 
of an enzymatic reaction of an enzyme actually okay and turnover number of an enzyme okay so that's it and i hope that's going to help you